guys welcome back to my channel today I'm doing another makeup look and like I said today is going to be a voiceover throughout the tutorial portion of the video so make sure to leave your comment down below whether you liked the talk through like last week or the voiceover like this week so that I know because I don't know which one I like better so I'm very interested to hear what you all think and this look I'm not really sure how to describe it it kind of makes me think of like post-apocalyptic makeup for whatever reason but also it gives me like oil spill vibes because it's kind of that orange but shifts to green glitters in there um, so like when oil's on the ground it's kind of what it makes me think of so it's kind of an oil spill post-apocalyptic makeup look but it's something that's really fun the star of the show is definitely the butter london glaze glaze and eye gloss it dries down so it's not really glossy but it's a really interesting product and it's super easy to use so I was very excited to use this for sure um, if you do like this makeup look don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below and we will go ahead and get into the tutorial okay so I am starting with my normal Too Faced Hangover RX replenishing primer putting that all over my face and then I'm going in with, once again, my normal Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Snow. Dotting that on my face. And then I'm using the Real Techniques Miracle Diamond Complexion Sponge. It was one of the clean ones, so that's the one I picked for today. And I'm just blending my foundation out. You know, the way you have to. And then to conceal some redness that I did have, I'm using my Maybelline Master Conceal in Fair. Um, and then using that same sponge to blend in those little spots. And then I'm going to be highlighting the face and under eye with my Urban Decay Naked Complete Coverage Concealer in Fair. And I always put it down the center of my face and I always put way too much on my forehead but I love having apparently a very well lit forehead and that's okay and I am putting some of that concealer um, on my eyelid with the same sponge just to make that area a little bit primed I am going to use a primer as well but I like to just make everything the same and then I'm using my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Translucent Setting Powder and I'm kind of going to bake my under eye, just dipping my sponge down in there and putting that all over my under eye and then dusting just a little bit all over the rest of my face. I'm noticing with too many powders sometimes my other products don't go on my face so easily. So then I'm using my Wet n Wild um, Contour Palette in Dolce de Leche and I'm only using the contour shade and I'm putting that um, kind of in the hollows of my cheeks of course. And then I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Lighting Edit Surreal Light Palette. Um, and first I'm using the bronzer, which is Surreal Bronze Light. I'm kind of putting that kind of where the contour is, um, on the top of the forehead and under the chin, down the neck. And then I'm blushing by mixing both of the blushes together, which is Surreal Glow and Surreal Effect. And then I am blending away all of that powder before I put on my highlight, which the highlight is new. It is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter, and I got blinded by the light. It is the fairest shade that they made in these highlighter collections. Um, I kind of had a little trouble getting it to come off at first, but I noticed once I kind of got my brush into it, it was coming off just fine. But I think, you know, the first layer, a little hard to get through sometimes. And I, of course, highlight down the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, everywhere on the face. And then for my eyeshadow primer, I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. It is still kind of gross, but I haven't gotten rid of it yet. It's a little bit liquidy, but I'm just putting that all over my eyelid. And then I am going to be setting that. I use the um, Stila Eyes Are the Window Mind Palette. And I'm using Genius to set that, which is just a very neutral kind of sand color I would say and then to go in kind of the look I'm going to use the color will from that same palette um, as my transition set transition shade it's a very simple warm color that just blended well with everything and then I'm going in with um, 
Perception, which is kind of an important color, I feel like. So if you have any other orange shade, you know, just use your basic browns. But then if you've kind of got a nice orangey shade, this look will be very easy for you to do. Which, of course, I am using all matte shades because that's all this palette is. Because this product, the Butter London Glazen Eye Gloss in Oil Slick. Um, and you can see it's kind of an interesting shade. It's reddish, almost, with green glitter flecks, which it's beautiful. And I think it looks great with this orange, for whatever reason. When I played with it, this was kind of the look I came up with, and I loved it. I feel like it blends well, all the warm tones, and then the green kind of pops a little bit easier. And then I'm going back in with Perception and just deepening that up a little bit, making it a little more orange and making sure the glitter didn't get too high up into the crease. You can see I'm kind of going back in with my finger occasionally just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And then we're going to move on to the lower lash line. I'm going to be using Will first to line that whole lower lash line. And then once I've got that, I'm using um, Intellect, which is a slightly darker shade, just to deepen that lower lash line up a little bit. And then back into Perception, just to kind of get the outer corner a little bit, make sure that the top and bottom are pretty well blended together so that they kind of match. And then finally, I'm using Brilliance, which is just a cream white shade to highlight the inner corner just a little bit and the brow bone. And I did decide to go with very natural brows for this look, so I truly did just kind of brush them out and I went with it which you'll see that here in a second wow I got ahead of myself here we go <laughs> um, I felt like the natural brow look worked really well with this look just because like I said in the beginning it kind of makes me think post-apocalyptic and then my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara of course it's the one I've got open right now and of course I do love it I still want to compare that to the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara I feel like they're incredibly similar And then some weird faces as I put on mascara, lots of blinking. And then on to the lips. I use the ColourPop Lip Liner in Aquarius just to line and fill in my lips because the lipstick I use is very nude, so this adds just a little bit of deepness to the lip so that my lips don't disappear into my face. And then I'm using my Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in Be Free. And then finally, I'm not finally, I'm brushing away some fallout and stuff. And then finally, Mario Badescu Facial Setting Spray, fan my face, and all done. And this is the finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun making this. It's been kind of a crazy day, so this video is going to be going up a little bit late, but that's okay. It will be up on the correct day at least. <laughs> and once again, don't forget to comment down below, talk through versus voiceover, thumbs up this video if you like makeup tutorials, and subscribe down below. I am thinking about doing a giveaway once I reach 500 subscribers, which I know is a little ways away. But by the time we get there, maybe I will have a nice little pile to do a pretty good sized giveaway. So if you're interested in that, let me know down below what you think. Tell your friends to come check out my videos so that we can get there so that maybe you can win some products. And that is all I have for today, and I will see you all next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.